Hello, welcome to another episode of Spurverts. I'm here with Craig as per, and this week we are very, very excited. Oh, we are excited because Delhi Ali has signed a new contract. Delhi Ali. Five years. Delhi Ali. Five years. Mm-hmm. He's going to be at Spurs. I think he's gone up to 30 Gs a week. Hopefully, he deserves it. Yeah. You know what we do here at Spurs? We reward our youngsters for performing well, and he's performed fantastic. Exactly. I would give him. I would have given him 70 Gs a week straight off. Um, do you think we're going to keep him maybe for that whole period of time? That's a long time. Five years. Um, yeah, well, you never know what's going to happen, but uh, yeah, because we'll be winning the league by then. Ah, of course, so, new stadium. And he'll, he'll be the reason, he'll be the captain, he'll be lifting the trophy. So, Champions yeah. League. Exactly, yeah, we'll have won the Champions League. We've Good done time. all sorts of stuff. Dele Alli, that's for me, that's the most exciting news. No, no, so no, it's far. big, it's big. I mean, he's being kind of praised by every single pundit out there. Everyone's yeah. kind of bigging him up, saying he's a true talent. And the fact that we've tied him down and showed what we're trying to do here as a club, Yeah. the intent, it's good. Exactly. Along with that and Harry Kane saying that he wants to stay at Spurs forever. Oh, uh, of course he, he didn't does. say that. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but he implied that he, he wanted to be he there. He kind of does. There. He's from Walthamstow. Yeah, exactly. Uh, more news. Leicester last minute equaliser. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, it wasn't last minute, but we've got that penalty. Two all. What do you think of the game in general? Do you think it was a good performance or...? KG. Yeah. KG once again. Um, it's like old Spurs defending a little bit. It was. And Even we... Toby, I thought, looked a bit... Uh, I know! Oh, Toby! Because he, he was, look, foot wrong all he was season. looking across and he wasn't seeing his... Yeah. His Belgian You bro. think that's what it is? He feels yeah. more comfortable with Jan. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. I mean, what one thing I really was excited about was the way Harry Kane converted that penalty under pressure. Yeah, it's good. The pair. pressure was on. If he missed it, he was pretty much out of the FA Cup. Yeah. And I'm not going to call it the Emirates FA Cup. We don't say that nasty word here. The FA Cup, just keep it classic. He converted it under pressure and it was emphatic the way he dispatched it. Yeah, and having come on, like not fully been in the game the whole oh, yeah. game and then come on to do that. Uh, also, I thought it was interesting that, um, that our best chance lately in matches of scoring has yeah. been Toby lofting up field to Deli Alley. Tried uh, it. And then Deli Alley came on, yeah. And what happened Tried straight it. away headed is they it. did the ball, it went straight to Deli Alley and he headed it and he went just wide. And he was gutted as well because he thought that's our signature move. Yeah. That's our finishing move. People are clocking onto it now. It's a shame. What about Rose, Carroll and Vimmer? How do you feel about their performances? I Rose is captain for the first time ever. Interesting. Well, he has, he's our longest serving player. I know. In fact, in the seven he's been there since. So, you know, congrats to him. He said it was a proud moment for his family, didn't he? It did, yeah. That's big. He played very well on that wing. Uh, Vimmer and Carroll found him on a number of occasions, kind of split the moment of a pass and he whipped in a couple of balls. Carroll, I thought, was fantastic. Yeah. Really doing his... He looks like the only person in our team. I know people say Ericsson's a playmaker, but he's not really a playmaker, is he? He doesn't mm. play those kind of cutting open balls enough. Whereas not, not Carroll really does it. Carroll's really trying to be that, you know, pulling strings, opening teams up with a good pass. He's doing a lot of that. I'm really impressed with him. What about his voice, though? That's a whole separate yeah, issue. Yeah, that's for a different video, yeah. I think. Yeah, Vimmer, I Vimmer was all right as well. Vimmer was OK. It's it just the right. fact that there's not the Belgian connection. That's, that's the only it thing. So that's a shame. But that's but understandable Vimmer if they haven't played decent. a lot of games together. Yeah, on. exactly. Yeah, Vimmer was decent. But he was all right. Um, and of course, uh, Rose said he was proud of his family. Of course, his family, big fans of Spurred on. Uh, Ericsson got a goal. Yes. Uh, we've always been quite critical of Ericsson this season. Yeah. Um, Ericsson got a goal. Do you think it was a better performance from him? Or do you think it was kind of a goal and then not much else? It was a goal and then kind of that normal performance Plateaued. again. I mean, when he scored, you saw the relief. There's like a picture of him like, oh, kind of like that, that when... Soldado moment. Yeah, that sort of it, was. Out. It, it was. It was kind of freaky, but it was a cool, calm, collected finish. I liked it. Um, but he's, what's wrong with him? He's not beating the first man on these corners. I mean, everyone's starting to see it now. Originally, it was just us that kind of weeded yeah. it out. Barnaby yeah. defended him, saying as long Barnaby as the goal still... went in, but he's ridiculous Defensive. now. He's not beating the first man enough on these corners. Yeah. This is supposed to be a dead ball specialist. And he's not beating the first man. It's getting on my nerves. It's very frustrating when, given the corners that come in against us, such as the one Leicester took, always beat the first Going man. In. There isn't a first man. There wasn't a first man on that corner, pretty much. And then he just easily gets ahead of some on, kid called Gray, who looked like he just walked out of Tottenham College, whipping balls in. Exactly. Getting assists. And then our oh, Ericsson, who's played Champions League since the age of 17, can't beat the first man. <laughs> sort it out, Christian. Seriously. Yeah, agreed. Uh, last piece of news is that uh, Opta Joe released stats this week that said mm. this season uh, Spurs have had more shots on target than Barcelona. Oh. I think that's conclusive evidence. Are you surprised? Uh, I'm not. Well, to be fair, a lot of ours are going straight at the keeper. We had the true Ballon d'Or winner in our team, yeah, Harry Kane, yeah. and he, he, he didn't secure it. So I'm, I'm not surprised, to be honest. Yeah, we're, but we are, we're not scoring as many. So yeah. I don't know if that's saying there's better But we know the where Premier the goal League. is. We know, and they will go in eventually, but we know where the goal is. That's exactly. the most important thing. Exactly. Plus Harry Kane, a lot more polite than Suarez. He's never bit anyone. Anyway, this has been Spurvets Part 1. Make sure you check out Spurvets Part 2. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop us a like. Follow us on Twitter at TV, and we'll see you in Part 2.
and it is the FA Cup draw. If we beat Leicester in the replay, mm -hmm. we're going to have Colchester. What's your thoughts on that? You know, it's a classic FA Cup tie, isn't it? It's Colchester away. It's